Hey there, Excel users. Welcome to my Excel Power Tips channel. Today, I'm going to be discussing the concept of a toggle button. So we've got this small user form, which initially appears small and is hovering above the status set. And on the user form, you've got this drop down. And this drop down consists of the fields uh, of the sheet behind the user form. At the moment, the country field has been selected. And then uh, immediately below the uh, drop down, you've got this label. Uh, the label says unique item 185. And that gives you the count of the unique items for the uh, the field that's been selected from the drop down and you've also got this toggle button so when i press the toggle button um, it opens up the user form it expands the user form and you shows a list box showing the the actual unique items the values uh, behind the count of the uh the unique items for the the field country so if you press the toggle button again you can expand and collapse the, the user form and you also notice that the direction arrows of the the button the yellow button the toggle button uh, also changes so i'm going to be discussing next how i program this how i set it up so these are the steps that you need to take uh, to create your toggle button on your user form so from your worksheet we go into the developer tab and then we click on the visual basic button on the far left or from your keyboard uh, press a combination of alt f11 so here we've got the user form here uh, in its fully expanded state and the user form has properties so in the properties uh, box on the left hand side uh, one of the properties, properties is height and in its fully expanded state the height of the user form is 362 so from this uh, expanded uh, height of the user form we resize the user form so it hides the list box but shows the rest of the items uh, the controls of the user form and i found from experimenting that a height of 90 uh, does that for the collapse state so what we need to do is uh, we've got two height settings we've got 362 for the expanded height and 90 for the collapsed height um, the next thing is uh, we place a button on the user form and this button here that's going to be the the expand collapse button the toggle button and i've called this button uh, from the default name size to command toggle toggle form size you can call it whatever you want but i've called it something meaningful and what i've also done is i've changed the, the background color of the, the of the uh, button uh, from the color palette and i've chosen yellow so if i double click on the toggle button uh, this is the main code uh, behind the toggling so what it does is uh, when the toggle button is clicked it checks the uh, user form size so the user form is the default name user form one it checks the height if it's 362 then we need to collapse it so it changes the height to 90 and then the caption it puts it into an expand state so because we've collapsed the form so we click uh, it's showing that uh, the arrows are pointing towards the right so press that to expand it uh, as an indicator if it's not 362 then it's going to be 90 so the next part of the if statement the if block else then changes the the user form height of 362 and but this time it changes the caption size to collapse uh, so these are the two arrows are pointing towards the left the other thing is um, when you create a user form uh, in the VBA editor it has two drop down the first drop down is the the control so the control for the whole user form is user form if you click on that and on the second drop down you've got various events that you can program uh, any object under so the object in itself is the user form and the uh, the um, event is going to be initialized that's going to be the one you need to choose from this list so from the initial initialize um, event um, the procedure that I've created is called set initial form size so this procedure sets the initial height of the form when it appears ignore the rest of these uh, calls for the uh, procedures uh, because that's not relevant for the video so I'm just going to double click on this and select the definition and to do this uh, I've created a, uh, a module and pl place the module in the modules folder by inserting a standard module uh, right clicking on it and selecting module 
and I've changed the module name size uh, to the, the size the the name of the module to form reusable subs. Uh, but you can leave the default name of the module. So it's a simple uh, procedure here. All it's doing is setting the initial form size to 90. So by doing it this way, when the uh, user form is uh, loaded into uh, uh, from the worksheet, then the initial size is 90, and the the captions, uh, the actual caption, um, is set with the arrows pointing towards the right. So that's indicated saying if you click on this button, you can expand it. So now that the user form toggle button has been set up, we can now test it. So we've got the user form with the toggle button hovering over this worksheet, and the drop down consists of the column headers of the underlying worksheet. So from the drop down, we'll select the first column, which is region. And it's calculated from the label underneath the drop down that it has a unique count of seven items. So if you click on the yellow toggle button, it shows the unique values are behind the unique total count. Let's uh, collapse the toggle button. And now let's uh, choose another field. We'll choose country. So this time it's calculated that there's 185 distinct unique values in the country column. So let's test the toggle button again. And that expands the list box uh, to show the unique items are behind the unique count of 185. So we can toggle and uh, collapse and expand the, the list box, the user form, by using the uh, toggle button this way. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next video.